What's going on everybody? Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful New Year's. It is 2018 now, so I decided to make a video of doing or review my car, a car check, just like what Zosh did on his Integra. So I'm just gonna do that. Also shout out to Zosh, you guys should see his new video, uh, his little like 2017 recap. He pretty much like went from little boy to big boy, or little boy to medium boy. <laughs> what the fuck am I even saying? So go check out his video, I'll link it down below. It's cool, so yeah, check it out. And damn, the sun keeps messing with me. This is my 1996 Honda Civic hatchback. It is a DX model. And uh, yeah, the paint is Galapagos Green Metallic off a Honda Element. And I got the shell like this for people that have been watching my videos and everything. So yeah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. How many times do I even have to say that? Beautiful color. So, yeah, really, really digging this color. And let's start off in the front. So the front is pretty much like almost full SIR. So I got the JDM SR headlights. And then of course the SR front and rear bumpers. Uh, SR lip. You guys even see that? Kinda too dark. But yeah, it does have a lip. But my opinion is on this lip right now, I love this lip. Very simple and like timeless look. But I, honestly, I kind of like spoon it more. So I might put it back on after this video. But uh, we honestly will see what happens. And I have an OEM CTR girl right there that I uh, rattle can and paint match. Paint match is on point. And yeah, so that's the front end. And well, the hood is a VIS carbon fiber hood. It does like have like a green shade to it, which is pretty interesting. It looks pretty cool. Uh, VS hoods, they fit really, really good, surprisingly, compared to other hoods. I know Sabon's pretty good too, the Fimit, but the Fimit on this VS hood is really, really good. And then, side, um, it does have tire markers. It came with the shell, so can't really complain. Uh, it kind of grew on me. Um, uh, we'll start with that later. And then we have Osaka JD mirrors that I got when I was over in Japan. So thank you Kaz from 5 Mart for hooking it up. So I forgot what style these are, but these are Osaka JD uh, style, I think one, two, or three. I, I, I don't know. But they have blue tint to it. And I did color match these, but I didn't make a video about this because um, they're the same as my grill. And I need to change up my base plate because this is for manual mirrors, so there's still a hole here. Um, let's see. I mean, it's good to tell, but this thing has a uh, JDM thin side moldings on it. The thin side moldings makes a huge difference. They just sit more flush with the panel, you have to see that. And they look better than the OEM ones because OEM ones are a lot more chunkier. And yeah, it, it just suits the car a lot more. And there's the rear SR rear bumper. Uh, it has mud flaps in the rear, but I don't have mud flaps in the front because the front ones were destroyed because the car was like low or the previous owner of the shell. So I was like, uh, whatever. Uh, I'll just leave the back one for now, but I will switch it up. And uh, these are JD and rear taillights. Um, most people don't really know a difference. I've seen posters that go online, like on forums and stuff, be like, yo, what's the difference between a OEM or USDM versus JDM? Now, USDM, JDM, they look exactly the same. But thing is, on a USDM, there is a little small reflector here. So, with the JDM tail lights, it uh, looks a lot cleaner with the bulb on, or at night and stuff. Like it just looks like a smooth lighting compared to just having a giant reflector right here. Um, I'll post up a photo so you guys can see. It's in my garage. It just looks a lot smoother. So all the people with the US USDM uh, tail lights, you guys can see the difference between that and mine. But yeah, JDM tail lights make a huge difference. It's just like the little things. Oh, and I still need a, I still need to plug that, but I've been kind of lazy. I haven't even bought it yet, but yeah, and then has a spoon rear duckbill. And I already said in my previous video, I could really tell if a, if someone has a real spoon weight is of course the shape and also this line right here because spoon is handmade and they're just like layered over. And it's that's yeah, that's just how you distinguish between a real and a fake one. Uh I guess we start off. Alright, so that's I think that's like the exterior of the car as in like on the car or I don't know but exhaust Jay's racing axe back I have installed a video of this 
Uh, beautiful exhaust. I love how it sounds. It's a little bit droney, but uh, if you have a headache, I wouldn't drive it. But if you don't have a headache, then cruising it with the drone is fine. And wheel setup, they are 15 by 8 Volk T37s. Well, 15 by 8 35 offset. So everybody that asks is about the offset. And yeah, wrapped in Toyo Proxy R Triple Eights. They don't make these anymore. Um, so you have to. If you want the size, you have to buy the new ones, the R888 R's. And the size is 225.50s. I get hella DMs and comments of what my tire size is. So if you guys are watching this video, you better know now. 15 by 8 plus 35, 225.50 tires. Alright? So. And front wheel with four pot calipers. Love these calipers. They stop. Amazing. And I just have some O'Reilly Blink calipers. Um, cause they get warped out of time, so I just replace it, or lifetime warranty that shit. And the rears, rear disc conversion, using the Scarebird bracket. That's where most people found my channel from, doing this, uh, rear disc conversion. And it's been on my, this car and the other car ever since, and this has been good, so. Yeah, it has a bracket, uh, LS, uh, LS or GS rear cal- uh, GS or rear calipers work. And, yeah, so, now, the suspension stuff. I'm just gonna say what it has. I can't show you guys. Well, I can only show the rear. The fronts I can't because the car's lowered. Um, so we have a Function 7 subframe brace with Function 7 lower control arms. Um, that sway bar right there is an ASR 24 millimeter sway bar with ASR sway bar um, with their brackets and ASR spherical uh, end links. And coils right there you guys can see. Coney yellow with the ground control setup. I'm running 9K springs in the front and 7Ks in the rear. And um, also on my trailer arm bushings, you guys can't see it, but I am running, uh, what is it? My PCI spherical uh, trailer arm bushings. Makes a huge difference, hands down. And also camera kits, Skunk 2 rear camera kits. Um, I recently went to Skunk 2. Like, as in like, replace my buddy club rear with Skunk 2 because the Skunk 2 one, uh, you can change out the bushings a lot easier compared to like, the buddy clubs are hard race, you have to press them out. But the skunk too, you, you don't even have to press it out, you just push it out. Well, kind of hit it out, but it comes out. And then, uh, fronts, yeah. Oh, shit! My bad, I didn't know I was overexposed. Good, good. Alright, alright, we good. Uh, fronts, you guys can't see it. Front, uh, upper, uh, was it? Buddy club camera kits. And, um, this car, since it is a DX, it has no front sway bar, so I swapped the whole sway bar front, the whole front sway bar from my uh, coupe that I got rid of. So it is running a 24, I think OEM is 24 or 24, 25. I forgot um, front sway bar off the coupe um, since hatches don't come in front sway bars. So this thing, it feels, it just feels good. But yeah, so have that and uh, brake lines if that matters to you guys. I'm running uh, Jay's Racing brake lines that I picked up in Japan also. That's just cool, you just buy stuff in Japan and just slap it on your car, you know? So you just know you, you have like stuff that, or stuff from your trip to Japan on your car. Which is cool. Well, I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff because like I've done so much to my car. Oh, um, I forgot. Okay, but, uh, okay, so, suspend, what was it, interior. It's all stock. I still have to switch out these rear panels because there's holes in it and yeah, that's coolant and, hey, freaking cable that I still have to install. <laughs> And yeah, so interior, I'm running a Nardi 330 deep corner steering wheel with a checkered, oops. What the fuck is it? Come on, buddy. With a checkered sports hub. And with this um, hub, you guys cannot use a horn button unless you drill a hole through it, and I wouldn't even do that. But I just have some like um, random block off plate, it's like aluminum. And then shifter right there. Running well, the whole shifter setup from my uh, transmission is an innovative shift linkage to uh, create like less slop because with the innovative shift linkage you could um, you could tighten the U joint and stuff. And that's a fast line shifter for the EK. For the Integras, it's it doesn't have that crazy of a bend because the dash on the EKs they made it more with the crazy bend because of the dash, so you don't sock your dash. And then shift knob is just a Spoon Sports uh, aluminum instead of a Duracon shift knob. Um, yeah, and then it does have a uh, Civic Type R cluster. Uh, have some 8 in gauges, got the air feel, 
the white band and the water tent which I'm gonna be installing is this the gauge right now but I'm gonna be installing the sensor and everything when I do the speed factory radiator uh, battery down there is a Odyssey PC680 with the Odyssey battery tie down and yeah just mounted to my floor just for easy access and this is one of the cool things that you don't really notice in all my videos or you don't see uh, you guys see that little thing right there uh, where is it that thing it's a spoon sports like rear view, rear view mirror that you just put over um, it's slightly shorter because I bought the JDM EK you're supposed to get an Integra if you have a USDM um, car or US, yeah, USDM mirror so make sure you guys buy one of these buy for buy for an Integra but it will fit your whole mirror this is for the EK so supposedly the EKs in Japan are uh, smaller they have smaller mirrors so that's why I didn't fit but the SRR pedals down there extremely rare a lot of people keep hitting me up about them and buckets here just a buddy club bucket fixed bucket so yeah comfortable uh, all right so <clears throat> I guess on to the part where the uh, ah. <coughs> as I can see I'm still sick or just recovering and pop the hood and show you guys and sorry this video uh, like runs on and on and on and on because I don't know how long this video is gonna be um, I kind of went out of some cinematic shots but I just uh, still sick so I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry guys all right now engine bay uh, it's an engine bay a rattle candidate you guys saw my video uh, motor wise this is a USDM type R motor B18 C5 has a wide scope 81 millimeter forged pistons uh, the head super tech valve springs and retainers uh, buddy close factory cams total cam gears uh, header running the 1320 uh, was it 42 to 1 header which I love and it came with the 1320 test pipe which you guys can't see dipstick made by RFAB machining radiator skunk alpha with a Mishibato fan and shroud and this little random like spoon accents or little accessories this is the oil cap the reservoir covers um, uh, B16 trans with uh, Synchrotech carbon synchros and a Quafi Quafi LSD. Uh, got innovative mounts, 75A bushings. Kind of rough, but you know it, it's okay, honestly. Uh, Speed Factory catch can or breather catch can. Uh, Magnaflow fuel filter linked up over here through everything. Uh, vibrant vacuum box which is for my TV setup because of all the vacuums uh, ITBs are TWM 52 millimeter uh, ITBs with RC 440 injectors and velocity stacks from Volkswagens or some like I forgot which motor yeah they're not meant for the ITBs but they fit and they um, look clear the inside too uh, yeah and then just running a raw wire budget harness down there I still have to change this wire out which is the one in the back of the car or stay in the back seat so yeah I gotta change that out probably when I get home too uh, but yeah yeah that's, that's, that's about it honestly I'm not really good about these walk around videos because there's like like honestly there's so much that I've done to a car like I just forget what I've done but like there is so much done like suspension wise and then motor wise and everything just fuck just money 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 but um you guys know that I have all the parts at home. I have the J blood front bumper at home. I have the spoon front lip at home. I just have a lot of things to install. I have the Seeker V1 wing at home. Yeah, I just, I just got a lot, so. Yeah, it's got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And yeah, so now I am just gonna get in my car and probably end this video. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year's and hopefully you guys like the car check. Um, honestly, I might redo one later on. I just uh, kind of want to get out of the way because I kept saying that I was going to do it. So I finally did it and hopefully you guys kind of enjoy this. If it seemed kind of boring just because like I can't really think right now. I'm still sick. So that's why I'm, I'm just like forgetting. and forgetting. Yeah. But yeah, so there's a lot of like stuff not done on this car that I recorded because everything <clears throat> like, like the rate of this conversion everything was done on my coupe so the if you had just backtrace videos like go back and back in time you guys could see all those like install videos on how I did my rate of this conversion everything that was all done on the coupe because 
This shell, I literally only own for three months. I got it as a shell, put it together in three days, and after that, I've just been like, you know, just doing little things here and there. I was hoping the monster would clear my throat, but yeah, so, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and hope you guys enjoy the hatch. I know you guys love the hatch, so time to just cruise back and, uh, yeah, I still have to get my car retuned because TPS is still set up at 76%. So when I floor it, it, it uh, cuts out. But yeah. Uh, oh, you guys want to hear a sound clip for the Jay-Z exhaust? Let's do that right now because I know a lot of people have been asking like, what does Jay-Z exhaust sound like? So let me just rev it. Honestly, I don't know how loud it's gonna be, so sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed this video so time to head out and uh enjoy some time with my family and yeah so happy new year's everybody hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you're not and yeah hope you guys really enjoy this stuff peace out